All right, so once you're back here, always have a bottle close to your window, um, just in case you have to re-wet it before you put the tint on. So I'm just gonna sneak by the camera here, and show you how to get this on. So you wanna make sure that one side, you can sneak one side in first. I always try to do my shorter side first. So on a driver passenger window, one side is way shorter than the other. And then we want wanting to not pinch the tint, but fold the tint so that you can get it tucked in this other side. So now I'm using my finger over here to push, sorry, to push this piece inside there without crinkling it. So the same thing, and now I'm pulling the bottom out to make sure that the tint is nice and flat on the window. And you want to make sure that you're only roughly about a sixteenth of an inch from the top lip and not hanging over anywhere. So if I'm hanging over anywhere, when you go to roll the window up, it's going to catch that piece and it's going to peel your tint off. So now, again, you're going to use your squeegee. You're going to go from one side all the way to the other. Make sure it doesn't move on you because it is slippery, remember. So you're, I'm holding with this thumb over here, holding the tint in place while I'm pulling this this way. And I'm just going to keep going down till I get to the fold. You don't want to go past the fold because then you're going to, what's going to happen is it's going to go down, this is going to go down, and then this is going to, if when, once it comes back up, because it will come back up, it'll suck dirt from this edge and pull it right into your tent. So then you'll have a line of bubbles. So you don't want a line of bubbles, so don't go down further than um, even here. Like you don't have to even get that close. See over here, I'm still out this far. Um, and also because I can tell that this is starting to trying to pinch over here in this corner. I'm just gonna zoom in here so you can see. So right in here, um, you can see that it's kind of folded on itself a little bit. So I wanna be careful with that corner. And then this corner as well, um, it, it's always gonna look like that. So you have to make sure that you don't over push it so it doesn't actually crease that spot because we don't wanna crease it. All right, so then from there, you're gonna spray it again. Always make sure your tint is wet because your tools can scratch the tint. So now the next step is to go in with your quarter tool, making sure that you're pushing along this side. Pushing like that. And then pushing like this on that side. And then you're gonna take your blue max, which is this one. And you're gonna push super hard and push out all the excess water. And I'm, so you notice how I'm going like sideways and then up. I'm just overlapping my last one and pushing it out the top. Again, make sure your tint is not moving. It moved on me a little bit there, so I moved it back down. You want to make sure that it's not hanging over anywhere, so when you roll it up, it's not going to get stuck. At this point, you're going to take a little piece of paper towel, <clears throat> wipe that top edge, and you kind of want to go up and off. Um, the reason why you can potentially, um, if you're going sideways, pinch the film if they're, if your film is still really wet. All right, so now that we have that done, we're going to pull this, we're not, don't pull it out, but just hold it out. So it doesn't get, this plastic doesn't stick on anything. So I'm just holding it out. I'm not pulling it out, I'm just holding it out. So I'm gonna slowly roll up my panel, watching my corners to make sure that they're not pinching. So if they're pinching, I gotta try to fix that before I roll it all the way up. But we're good, so I'm gonna roll it up a little bit more. And now I'm good there. So now what I'm going to do is spray underneath. Not Again, try not to pull the tint out too far. You have to pull it out a little bit just so you can get water in there. And the main thing here is to get water in that, um, in the edges, because you don't want it to stick in there. Okay, so now that we're here, we want to, I'm, I'm having a lot of problems over here. I would say I have more problem area over here right now. Um, so I'm going to actually start from this side and pull it this way. It doesn't matter which side you start from, just make sure that your whatever side you start with, um, that you kind of pay attention to how the film is laying. So this one's not as crazy, so I'm gonna pull this side down. See, I'm pulling down, I'm pulling straight down, pulling down, and then when I get to this spot, I'm gonna flip around and try to get this side out now. And notice how I'm pulling the plastic that's on the back side, so if you see, um, this is actually like folded, so I'm pulling the back side of that fold, so the, the excess. So I'm pulling this off, 
I will go nice and slow because I don't want that to pinch the tint at all. So I'm pulling this off. And now I have it, so now I'm just gonna tuck that middle part in first, and then I'm not gonna go in there yet because I need to do that with the tool. So now it's laying perfect for me. Always put your plastic in the garbage can. Now you're gonna go in, before you do anything else, you wanna go inside with your yellow tool. Again, on this angle, see how this angle is here with the tint? I'm on the same angle as it. I'm coming in, I'm pushing it down, and I'm pushing hard. And I'm gonna flip that edge down, and then I'm gonna do the other side, same thing. And now what you're going to do is your um, pink tool. So you can either start in the middle and work your way out, um, or you can start from one side and move your way to the other, other side. So I'm just gonna do it this way. So if you're getting fingers up from the bottom, uh, it went away now, but if you get fingers up from the bottom, you should be able to get that out with your blue max. So, and if you can't, then we would have to heat it up. But for the most part, at that point, you would get your blue max. So then you would get your blue max at this point. Make sure you're coming from up here, because remember we only blue max that first little bit. And I'm gonna overlap that, making sure I get all the water out, all the way down. And then one last time with your yellow tool. Boom, boom, and then that's it.